Between 2015 and 2019, fire departments across the U.S. responded to an annual average of 3,840 on-campus fire incidents. On-campus fires refer to incidents that occur in on-campus housing such as dormitories or Greek housing. Studies done by the U.S. Fire Administration between 2000 and 2015 found that 76% of fatal on-campus fires involved alcohol, and 29% of these fires are the result of smoking. Over half of fatal on-campus fires occurred on the weekends, with 73% happening between 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. 67% of fire victims are male, and in over half of these fatal on-campus fires, smoking alarms in the building were either broken or missing, and fire sprinklers were not present in 85% of cases. We all know GW dorms are known for setting off fire alarms at god-awful hours, so here's how not to be that guy. It all starts in the kitchen. In dorms specifically, fires are more likely to occur while students cook dinner between 5 p.m. and 9 p.m. In 87% of the dorm fires, cooking equipment was involved. Let's take a look at this scene. The most important thing, which might seem obvious, is never use the stove or oven if you are sleepy or have consumed alcohol. It's important that you are fully aware of your surroundings when in the kitchen and handling high-risk equipment. If you are sober and fully awake, make sure all of your cooking utensils and the oven and stove are clean before using. Before you turn anything on, keep anything that can catch fire away from the oven or open flame. While you're cooking your meal, remain in the kitchen and make sure you're paying close attention to what you are doing. This includes checking food that is simmering or baking regularly and using a timer to remind you that you are cooking. Unattended equipment is a factor in one third of reported home cooking fires and over half of the associated deaths. Once you finish cooking, double check to make sure everything is turned off before leaving the kitchen. If a fire breaks out while you're cooking, there are tips you must remember to stop the fire from spreading. If you are dealing with a grease fire, which can occur when the cooking oil becomes too hot, smother the fire with a metal lid. Baking soda is also helpful in these situations for smaller fires. Never put water on a grease fire. It will only make it worse. If a fire breaks out in the oven, immediately turn off the oven and keep the door closed to help contain the fire. If that doesn't work, Find the nearest fire extinguisher and call 911. Use this simple mnemonic to help you remember P-A-S-S, -S, PASS. P for pull the pin, A for aim, S for squeeze the lever slowly and evenly, and last but not least, the last S is for sweep the nozzle from side to side. It's all about proper pressure and making sure that it's being spread properly. There should be one on each dorm floor so know where they are. Even if there isn't a fire, it would be great practice to check and make sure that the fire extinguishers have a gauge in the right position, are clean and working, this means no dents or grease, and the instructions are readable and clear. There are many other hazards that can increase the risk of dorm fires that you may even have in your own room. What do you see wrong with the following room? Pause to see if you can find all seven hazards. Dorm items prohibited by colleges are often for good reason. There are many prohibited items at GW that could contribute towards accidental fires. Some of these prohibited items include candles, incense, and fragrance burners, unless for religious reasons, non-surge protected extension cords, halogen lamps, lanterns, or oil lamps, any more than 12 ounces of flammable liquids like liquid lighter fluid and butane, live holiday decorations such as trees and garlands, and weapons or fireworks of any kind. Did you get them all? With the proper tips and care, we can help reduce on-campus fire incidents and fatalities. Fires are hot, but cooking safely is hotter.